Hello, uh, this is a demo of the integration of the force fields extension into OmniGraph. And I am a fan of the video game Control where the main character can use force uh, effects to pull and interact with objects in the scene and then fire them off and use them as a weapon. So I thought I would duplicate that effect uh, using the force fields and the OmniGraph uh, extension. So let's just run the simulation and do a quick demo. Uh, I can walk over here and grab a bunch of barrels that are in front of the camera, uh, look over here to the right and fire them away, and grab some more barrels. Maybe we can get a few more this time uh, and fire them forward. And as I hold down the Shift C button to interact, I can move forward and grab more and more and more, and then let go and fire them up into the air. So that's the. Uh, the way the action graph works. Uh, let me show you the action graph itself so we can talk about uh, how it was put together. Uh, there are three force fields that implement these effects. Uh, a ring force field, a drag force field, and a planar force field. The ring force field causes the barrels to get attracted to the camera and orbit in two circul circular motions or a, a torus uh, motion around in front of the camera. The drag force field simply slows the velocity down a little bit so it's a little more controlled. And then when you release the shift C key, uh, this planar force field fires the force fields, the file fires the barrels away from the camera. The way we uh, find out which barrels are in front of the camera is using this uh, top set of nodes. Uh, we get the active camera, find out its position and forward vector. Uh, we take the forward vector and scale it up by uh, 1,000 centimeters so we can get a point in front of the camera. We combine the camera position with that forward vector, and that we feed into the scene query. The scene query is simple a simple sp a spherical uh, query, which grabs all the objects in front of the camera that are fit inside a, a sphere, and then it feeds those prims to the three force fields to, uh, to effect. Um, and then this bottom portion of the graph is simply uh, a tick function here, which ticks the, all the different force fields that need to be run, and a keyboard uh, uh, input node, which grabs the key and when it's pressed, uh, activates the ring and drag force fields, and then when it's released, starts a counter that counts up to two, so that we only apply the planar force field uh, when, you know, when the counter is incrementing below two. Um, that's really mu that's really it. Uh, all the other interesting details are inside the properties in order to tune the various force fields, uh, how much drag to apply, how much force to apply, uh, how long the uh, the, fi the barrels should be fired away from the camera, uh, and then how far in front of the camera the sphere should be. Um, and that's about it. If uh, you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, and if you want to play with this demo, it will be included in the force fields extension once it's finally checked in. Thank you very much.